Peeps, what's up? It's Josh. How we doing? Um, if you are new to the channel, thank you very much for checking this out. Maybe consider giving it a like or subscribe or whatever that we do here on YouTube, whatever. If you're not new to the channel, welcome back. It's been a little bit since I've posted anything and I'm looking to get back into the game here and kind of start posting a lot more. Um, a lot of irons in the fire though lately, guys. A lot of irons going on. So, I wanted to try and do just a quick little investigation right here in the lobby of Malvern Manor. Um, so what I have kind of here at our disposal, if you will, is along the floor right in front of this table, I'm not sure if you can see, but I've got four of these little cat balls or whatever you would call them that if you move them in some way, shape or form, they will light up and do all sorts of weird stuff. So I've got that right there. I also have this EDI Plus, which is becoming one of my favorite pieces of equipment. So the EDI Plus not only measures like just the ambient temperature in the room and all of that fun stuff, but also when it tells you when the temperature is going up and down, air pressure and humidity as well, but also vibration. You can notice here when it I shake it, it kind of flashes and alarms and if I bump it like that, yeah. But then it also has this right here which is going to um, tell us and alert if there is any fluctuation uh, in the electromagnetic field. So it's also an EMF detector. Now as you can see here guys, I'm going to make this kind of quick because it is a balmy 50 degrees in here right now. So it's a little chilly. Um, so I'm going to put this right here. Now I also have this cool little device over here sitting on the table and I don't want to get too close to it. Um, but I will show you this right here. It's a little carousel. All right. And what this is going to do is this carousel also has this antenna that's raising out from the side here. And if something does get close to it and breaks that electromagnetic field or static field or whatever, it will alarm just like it just did there. But then of course, I also have my favorite device, um, which is this geoport right here that we like to use as often as we possibly can. Um, it's a lot of fun, the old geoport here. So we're going to try to use this for some spirit communication as well. Um, and so we have all of this stuff hooked up. Um, earlier I was experimenting with some singing bowls and all of that stuff and nothing really anomalous happened other than when the camera obviously wasn't rolling and I was just simply setting up the, the shot, right? Um, naturally, that's exactly how things always work. Now, am I expecting anything crazy to happen here? No, absolutely not. And why is that? Because it is 11.35 a.m. on a Tuesday here, right? It's so nothing really anomalous most likely will happen. I don't know. Like we have had things that have ran me out of this place at 10 o'clock in the morning. We've had things happen in the middle of the night. Like it's just kind of odd. Um, I have no idea. Usually uh, when I set cameras up and things like this, I don't really get the best of results and that's okay too, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the geoport and we're going to see if anything anomalous happens here. And we're just going to kind of listen and see. So first of all, I want to say, if anybody is here inside of this building with me right now, could you come into this room and just maybe say hello? Maybe tell me your name. Hello. What is your name? Alan? Guys, I'm going to move this just a little bit over to the side here. We were getting some false positives every time the geoport would go off. I was getting a notification that there was some some disturbance in the electromagnetic force or field. Hi. Oh. 
Can you tell me who you are? Hello. Hello. You are what? Eddie? Hi. Hi. Hey, is there a way that you guys can touch something? Sure, yeah, okay. Do you, do you see this cute little carousel that I have sitting on the table? I think that guy just said, I bite. For, for those of you that want to touch something here, you can touch this right here. It'll make this cool little noise and lights. Check that out. Can you touch that? That was my name. That was my name. Can you touch this right here? Touch that carousel. Is there a way you can touch that? What about these little clear colored balls on the floor? Face. Can you touch anything over here on this table? Paul. Paul. Would you like me to ask my friend Paul to come back? Oh. Guys, are you okay? Yikes. Guys, it sounds like a bunch of nonsense at this point. One. One. I don't know. I mean, so far, guys, it sounds like just a bunch of gibberish to me.
Help me out here, guys. Face. He keeps saying face. Hi. Listen. Hello. Guys, I'm wondering if you can touch something over here. Really let me know it's you. Touch this right there or touch one of these balls. Does that scare you? Hmm. What about touching one of these balls on the floor? Light. It's crazy. So, again, guys. Like, there are certain things that are happening that may be relevant, sure. I don't know. At the same time, I don't want to fish for it, right? I don't want to be led in some way. What is the what is the name of the town that we are in right now? Holy shit. Hang on. I'm going to turn this off for just a moment. Okay, so listen. I asked what is the name of the town that we are in right now? The the response was crystal clear. It said Milton Milton would be the name of the town before this town was called Malvern. And my, my, my stuff is dying over here. What is happening? One second, please. What the fuck? <laughs> my stuff is shutting off. It's turning off. It's not working. What is happening? Super cool. That was awesome. Whoever said Milton, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to keep this going as long as it'll allow me to, but obviously things are starting to die now, which is ludicrous because all of this stuff was fully charged and sh we should not have any issues with uh, batteries or anything like that. What the frick? It's all just dying. Everything is shutting down. One more time. We're going to try this quick. All right. Tell me my name. Close. Josh. <laughs> wow. Guys, I got to tell you one thing here, like being here and learning more about you has been one of the coolest, coolest experiences of my life. Do you enjoy me being here? Josh. Captain. Wow. Guys, I'm going to have to let you go for now because everything I have here, my cameras and stuff are dying. Okay? Can you say goodbye? All right. Well, I'm going to say goodbye now. 
Thank you. <laughs> wow. We can sing sometime soon. Soon. Wow. Guys, that was crazy. That was so crazy. Let me turn this off. Interesting. Interesting responses, or a few were, were very interesting responses. I hope I'm in frame right now because I can't tell you if I am or not. Um, really good stuff. So we'll, we'll, call that, uh, we'll call that a success for, for, the, for now anyway, right? Um, definitely have a lot more interesting things coming, a lot of weird experiments, and some really cool new equipment that is being specially built right now that's, I mean, it's on its way. So here's hoping that uh, within the next week or two or whatever, we actually have this stuff and then we can start to use it uh, and really get down and dirty with some of this stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, like I hope that you guys are enjoying this stuff. Um, I will be back very soon. But yeah, we'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Peace.